hello everyone welcome to our channel today we are going to discuss about a range function in numpy so first of all before starting what we have discussed earlier is how to install and import numpy library what is the difference and similarities between list and numpy arrays how to create numpy arrays by using of numpy library now let's discuss a range function in numpy so first of all by using a help function we are taking a whole documents of np dot a range function to understand better so here you can see that a range function we there are parameters like start stop step and d type so let's understand one by one so what is start parameter start parameters are giving for a start value for a range so the interval includes this value and uh, if we are not giving any value so it will take default value as zero and what is stop stop value is a uh, end of interval this interval doesn't include this value means if we are giving a value from 1 to 10 then it will take value from 1 to 9 only because stop value is exclusive in a range function in and also in range function and what is step step is the spacing between values if we are giving a values between one if we are not giving any step size it automatically default value is one like it will take from one to nine like one two three four five six seven eight nine and if we are giving giving step equal to two then it will take a step of two from one it will jump directly to the phone number after that it will directly jump to the seven and after that it won't take any value in d type it will it will take the data type what we want in our range function like if we want a range of float number so we have to give d type as a float if we want a d type as a complex number so we have to give as a d type equal to complex number and what it will return a range function it will give a n dimensional array of evenly spaced values so let's understand by using examples so let's create one here you can see like we are giving a only it will take only a start value as a zero and stop value as a three and step size we are not giving so it will take default as a one so it will take value from zero one and two let's understand by giving some step size and also start value and stop value here you can see like it will take start value as one end value or stop value as seven and two is the space between the values so it will take values from one after that jump up to three after that jump up to five so it will take only up to value five only so in this way you can also create a array by using of a range function let's see how we can give the data type it will take only stop value as 3 and data type we are giving as a complex sorry uh, there is some mistake
yeah we have to mention the d type equal to float or anything else or like complex or integer type so here we are taking the value up to 10 so it will take value from uh, start value default value is 0 and it will take only float value 0 0.12 2 point and all so that's all about uh, arrange function thank you everyone uh, we will see more videos on function available in numpy libraries Stay safe and keep learning. Thank you very much.